a department store Santa and figured, hey, what do I have to lose? So I interviewed with the Mrs. Tilden. She asked if I was good with children, and I said, Madam, consider me a virtual Dr. Seuss. Well, I think she thought it was a little weird, but she gave me a suit and a Santa beard, said she'd try me out at the 5 p.m. session. So with about three hours to kill, before I gave those tykes a thrill, temptation spawned an ill-advised digression. I went to a bar where I should mention that Santa suit really drew attention. Everybody in the place bought me a beer. So after a couple and a couple more, I went skipping towards that department store, brimming with glad tidings and good cheer. Department store Santa, he's filled with Christmas joy. Department store Santa, hit on him for a toy. Well, it wasn't much of a store at all, tucked in a CD discount mall, but those screaming kids were lined around the block. With my beard on backwards like hippie hair, I tripped and fell into Santa's chair, a cross between a wino and ZZ Top. Now my two little helpers were about 16, wearing mini skirts of red and green with matching tops that revealed their maturity. So I gave them a kiss of a friendly nature. French, I believe, is the nomenclature. They both scream pervert and dial security. Well, I knew profoundly in my heart I'd made an inauspicious start, but I told myself the best was yet to come. So I called out sweetly to that first kid, come meet old Santa. And when he did, he kicked me in the shins and bit my thumb. So I produced a pair of rusty pliers, said Mr. Claus, he don't like biters, open wide, cause the tooth fairy is in luck. Well, he ripped my ear, I let out a cry, they took a color portrait as he gouged my eye, his mother said her lawyer would be in touch. Department store Santa, you can tell that beard's a fake. Department store Santa, he's made a big mistake. Well, the next lad asked for a baseball cap, a catcher's mitt, and a Louisville bat, and I said, Slugger, first you need a big old chew. But when I gave him a wad out of my pouch, his face turned green, his eyes bugged out, he did the yellow yodel all over Santa's tennis shoes. When his grandma saw what was going on, she kneed me squarely in the groin, and my enthusiasm for this job began to wane. But I thought I'll give it one more whirl. Next one up was a little girl, and I said, now, sweetheart, tell old Sandy what to bring. Well, she asked me for a little brother, and I said, hell, introduce me to your mother. I don't see that we have a problem here at all. Now, she didn't comprehend a word, but her father did, who overheard, and it took four titanium screws to set my jaw. Department store Santa, the terror of the mall. Department store Santa, he deserves that busted jaw. Well, after that I had trouble talking, and the brats in line had started balking when security at last burst on the scene. And in a bitter ironic twist, as they slapped the cuffs on Santa's wrists, who should arrive but the CNN news team? So there I was on headline news with a mangled jaw, one eye unglued, a bloody ear, and a thumb bit half in two. And as they strapped me to an upright stretcher with a facial mask like Hannibal Lecter, the mall attorney granted exclusive interviews. Six months later they called my case, Santa's two little helpers came armed with mace. No one wanted to hear my side at all though. Mrs. Tilden tearfully testified, parents swore, cherubs cried, the judge expressed his outrage to Geraldo. Department store Santa, they threw him in the can. Department store Santa, now he's a wiser man. So next Christmas, if I'm out of the clink and I get tempted to take a drink, I'm staying locked and chained in my apartment. Let the word go forth each December so all you kiddies will remember playing Santa's no longer my department.